Hey there, I'm Akian. Welcome back to another video. Today, we'll compare the sizes of all Leviathans in Synodka and Below Zero. Before we start though, a slight spoiler warning for both games, for obvious reasons. <laughs> And just as a disclaimer, in this list I'll be using the length of a creature to determine the size, not its entire mass or diameter or something. I'll also be including any dead leviathans that we know about. Now, the smallest creature that still counts as a leviathan on planet 4546b is the Sea Treader, at 20 meters length. Now, I know some people think the Squid Shark is also a Leviathan, and fair enough, the databank entry for it calls it a Leviathan, but it's not actually sorted into the Leviathan category, so I'll exclude it from the list. The Sea Treaders spawn under the floating island in Subnautica, in the Grand Reef, or to be more specific, Sea Treaders Path, but nobody really cares about that, so <laughs> whatever. They are the only Leviathan that doesn't actually swim on Planet 4546b, and one of the few leviathan species that don't actually want to eat your face. And hey, they give you resources. Say thank you next time you meet them. <laughs> next up is the Glow Whale from Below Zero at 30 meters length. These were originally planned to be way bigger, but they were scaled down for the sequel. You could find them in multiple areas of Sector Zero, and you can take them for a ride. They spawn in large groups and are also passive, so no need to be afraid of them. What you do need to be afraid of though, is the Chalicerid, at 40 meters length. <laughs> okay, no I'm kidding. You really can't be scared of a giant shrimp, can you? Well, this is another Leviathan class species, probably meant to fill the role of the Reaper in Below Zero. It does a surprisingly bad job at that. It's taken 15 minutes to attack me here, which is ridiculous considering you usually try to avoid a massive predator and not try to get it to swallow you like me. I still think the Squid Shark would have made for a much better Leviathan, but, oh well, here it is. But hey, at least the instant kill animation is kinda cool. Now, what doesn't swallow you, but does a way better job at being very scary and giving hugs? Exactly, the Reaper, at 55 meters late. Being the first leviathan to grab your vehicles and swing them around, it's terrifying when it sneaks up on you. It can also be a threat to your cyclops, if you're not careful. It spawns in Subnautica at the Aurora, the Mountain Island and the Dunes. But after all, we, <clears throat> I mean, it just wants hugs. <laughs> Slightly bigger than the Reaper, at 60 meters length, is the Shadow Leviathan. It spawns in the Crystal Caverns and was planned to be able to grab your vehicles, just like the Reaper and the Chelly, but sadly that was never implemented. I do hope they come back to it though, because these concepts look amazing, I just really love them. I'd also like to see some special abilities for it, for example a Cloak ability. I've actually made another video on that, which you can check out in the top right after this video. But going back to the original game, the Reefback takes the next spot, with a length of 70 meters. They used to be significantly smaller, but ever since they were changed, they are massive. The current babies are just slightly smaller and have the same texture as the original Reefbacks, just so you get an idea of how massive they actually are. They even have their own ecosystem of plants and resources growing on their backs. Just like the Glow Whale, they spawn in groups and are passive. They are usually found in the grassy plateaus, swimming near the surface, but also spawn in some other biomes. Next up is our first dead leviathan, the massive skeleton in front of a precursor cache in Subnautica, which I call the Guardian. I don't know why, I just think it's fitting. It's around 95 meters long and seems to have been of interest for the precursors, though we don't know why. We actually don't know anything else about the creature anyway, so I guess let's move on. Also at around 95 meters, the Ice Worm of Below Zero finally comes in. These things are terrifying and ensure you don't even feel safe on land. They spawn in the Arctic Spires and are very attractive to your hoverbike and poor snow stalkers. I would not want to be in your skin, buddy. Thankfully, the devs implemented a bumper to keep them away. Let's just hope that the battery doesn't run out. 
But you have to admit that these things are extremely cool, right? I mean, they're my favorite Leviathan in Below Zero for a reason. And they ensure that you are also being followed on land to experience that feeling of terror and uncertainty. And the largest living Leviathan in Sector Zero is the Vent Garden. It resembles a large jellyfish and is usually anchored over a thermal vent. The adults get up to 100 meters in length. Or height? Well, they are actually large enough for the player to enter them from opening at the bottom. No, that is not the butt, the butt is actually at the top according to the devs, so yeah, we just enter through their mouths. Sadly, you can't build in them, but they don't eat you either, so I guess that's nice. Plus, I think that would be animal abuse. Adult ghost leviathans are actually the same size as the vent garden, just a million times more terrifying. Warning, entering ecological death zone. Adding report to data bank. They are the only Leviathan I'm still scared of, so I hope you appreciate me risking a heart attack by filming this. The adults spawn in the void where they keep the player from exploring further by being a massive threat to your Cyclops. They are literally the ghosts hunting my nightmares. Okay, that was cringy, I'm very sorry. <laughs> But for real, I am so scared of these, I got jump scared like 5 times while filming this. Just don't go in the void, your Cyclops will thank you. Only beating the Ghost Leviathan by 2 meters is the Sea Dragon. Surprising, right? I also thought it was bigger, but well, apparently not. Sea Dragons spawn in the lava zone in Subnautica can shoot fireballs and are just generally a pain when trying to get deeper. They used to be able to swallow a seamoth until the devs realized that your seamoth can't even go that deep so they took it out again. So now they stick to your prawn suit or just swallowing you directly. Great. They can be pretty scary, I mean one of them destroyed an entire precursor research facility. So yeah, I would not recommend building bases near them. Now the top three. The third spot is actually occupied by a presumably dead leviathan. The frozen leviathan. It can be found in Below Zero encased in a massive wall of ice and is being researched by Altera. The PDA likes to scare new people by telling them a leviathan is on a prowl, waiting to ambush them. I, I really like that by the way, it's pretty funny. Sadly, it doesn't seem like we'll actually ever see it move. But, well, we can hope, right? The number 2 spot is taken by the Sea Emperor. Being around 200 meters long, it is the largest living leviathan on planet 4546b, at least temporarily. Being held captive by the precursors in the original game. It's trapped in a facility in the lava zone, watching over its eggs. The living part is debatable, however, since it's dying at the end of Subnautica and we don't know what happened until the events of Below Zero, though we can assume that it sadly is no longer alive. The Emperor species is capable of producing Enzyme 42, which is the cure for the Kura bacterium, so it's essential to Subnautica's story and without it, we probably would have died. And the biggest leviathan to have ever roamed planet 4546b is the Titan Leviathan. Its skeletal remains can be found in Subnautica in the Lost River. The part we see is actually only a third of its entire length. Now that is big. Anthomnia actually made a concept with the help of Tabwing, showing us what it could have looked like while it was still alive. I really don't want to encounter that thing. Just look at the size of that sea moth. If that thing was in the game, Ghost Leviathans would probably look like plushies next to it. Huh. Ghost Leviathan plushie, that could be cool. Which Leviathan is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video and want to support me, please consider becoming a patron or channel member for some really cool rewards like early access to new videos, scripts, shoutouts, private giveaways and much more. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and if you really liked it, then share it with your friends. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!